Well, isn't that just a tiny little morsel of evil? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Prime's Prime Master, Liege Maximo! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have Liege Maximo, his name is Liege Maximo, he is a Prime Master, a Maitre Prime, a Maestro Prime, and a Mestre Prime. I missed the Dita. Oh, I miss it already. I miss it already. <laughs> and up here we got Skull Grin looking all Skull Grinny. On the back of the box we have our obligatory product shots and you just get a one word bio. Liege Maximo. Trickster. That's all you need to know. Skull Grin. Decoy armor. So that's, that's all you need to know. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Liege Maximo, the first of our official Titan Masters. And we'll move this guy off to the side for a little bit and take a look at the Prime Master itself, which is basically a Titan Master with a different thing on its back. But, yeah, let's get in close here so we can take a look at the robot. You can see they actually did paint the helmet there, which is quite nice. Um, instead of the belly button screw, he now has a belly button rivet. So they changed that up for this line. But some nice details. And of course you have the Prime Master symbol right there on the back. Um, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You get some wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. Uh, the arms are on a ball joint, so they can't move out that far, can't move up that far. Yay! Legs can move forward, they can move back a little bit, and the knees can swing both ways. And for comparison, here it is with a Titan Master. You can see they are exactly the same size there. And since this is meant to, uh, be a callback to the old Power Master gimmick. Here it is with a G1 Power Master. So you got that going on. And yeah, and uh, for one last comparison, get this guy standing. Uh, here he is with the original G1 inner robot for Skullgrin. And you can see that it did pretty much replicate the robot mode here. You can see the details on the G1 toy are on the uh the prime master here except for the crotch wheel but you know <laughs> they did a pretty good job of replicating the uh the inner robot there for Skullgrin, which is pretty cool so yeah and you can take liege maximo here and just fold him in half into his prime master mode and since this is on a uh, titan master connection you can bring in any of your other titan master figures and you can pop this onto their heads and that is just truly disturbing that's just disturbing that's that's weird that's just weird and disturbing that's some like joker stuff going on there i don't know but anyway it's a it's a thing you can do if you want to and uh we can also bring in overlord people have been asking can you plug these into overlord duh of course you can that's what he's meant for and you can open up his chest and you can plug the prime master into his chest if you want to um the enigmas also people have been asking about yes you can take the enigmas and plug them into Overlord's chest. Also, uh, the only thing is you can't actually close the chest doors with those in there. But um, yes, they do plug in there. That's what they're meant for. So, you know that's going on. And of course you can plug these into the prime armors if you wish, or plug them into the combined mode feet if you want to. It's what it's meant for. It's a thing, it's a thing you can do. Release, release, release! Thank you, thank you. So now that we've taken a look at the Prime Master, we can take a look at the other old school gimmick that they're bringing back for this line. Okay, that wasn't as graceful as I thought it was going to be. Pretender shells! Yay, they brought back the pretender shells. So here is uh, Skullgrin. And he is a cool little dude. I like him. I like him. So let's get a close here so we can take a look at that ugly mug of his. Look at that. Look at that. And that's a face only a mother could hate. A little Decepticon symbol right there on the chest. Got a little skull belt. 
All that stuff going on there. With big old feet. Got some big claws on his back there. That's for his weapon mode. But yeah, I dig him. I like him. And articulation wise, uh, the arms are just on a hinge here and can do a full 360. And that's it as far as articulation goes. And for a comparison, here it is with the original Skull Grin Pretender Shell because it's pressure. Skull Grinning pressure. And also here he is with the old uh, Generations Skull Grin. As you can see how he looks there. And here he is with Legends Wind Chaja. Just so you can get a sense of how big these little pretender shells are. So, there you go. Now, of course, being a pretender shell, you can open him up like that. And uh, you can see there's actually a lot of molded detail inside the shell itself. Which is pretty nicely done. Pretty cool. But you can open him up and take the Prime Master here. And you will just sit right in the shell, close it up, and there you go. There he is, in the shell, a la Pretender style. Um, now, you can see he has these big claws on his back. These are on a friction hinge. You can just pop this off like that. You can see there's a post there. And you can take this and plug it into his hand. So Skullgrin can hold it as a big handheld weapon. Claw, 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 claw. Can do all kinds of that if you want and the claws are done in a very nice silver paints yeah so you can do that if you want to now he does have a weapon mode and to do that we have to put the uh, claws back where they were and you just take the claws bring them all the way around until they lock into place take this handle here flip it around and there he is in his weapon mode so again it's just a big claw weapon thing and the last thing you want to do is uh Take out the Prime Master here, and you want to fold him up like that. And you can see the uh, the post right here, going to plug into the bottoms of his feet. You plug the Prime Master in like that, and I'm assuming this is what uh, powers the weapon. There you go. So you have the full weapon mode there for Liege Maximo and uh, Skullgrin there. And it's a 5mm peg, so any figure with a 5mm port in his hand, can hold it. We'll give it to Wind Charger for now. And there you go. Of course, Wind Charger can't hold it because he's just too weak. He's too weak. He's too little and too weak. Lean back. Lean back with it. There you go. So there you go. You got a big claw weapon there for your other robots. Actually, let me see if uh, I actually have not tried this. I assume that G1 Skullgrin can hold it. Let's see. Seems like he should. Can he? Can he? Can he? Get in there. Yes! Yes! Aha! He can hold it. There you go. Skullgrin holding Skullgrin as a weapon. Yeah! Double grin. Yeah, double grin. Anyway. <laughs> you can do that. It's a thing, it's a thing you can do. But there you go. We'll, we'll just detach the Prime Master here, get him back into his robot marriage. And. You just take the claws, flip them down against his back, and flip this back around. And there you go, everybody back in their robot mode. And that is pretty much it there for Liege Maximo and Skullgrin. Now, now I really dig these because they take a lot of gimmicks and just ball it up into one thing. Like, it's the Titan Master gimmick. It's the Prime Master gimmick. It's the Target Master gimmick. It's the uh, Pretender gimmick. You know, it takes all of those gimmicks and just rolls them up into one. And uh, I, I think it's really cool, me personally. And for me, this is going to be just like the uh, like the single pack Titan Masters, where I'm not really buying it for the Titan Master. I'm buying it for the little vehicle or animal they came with. It's going to be the same thing with these guys. Like I'm not really buying them for the Prime Master. I'm buying them for 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 these dudes because I really like them. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're really cool. Yes, I know, comment section, cheap, lazy, garbage, blah blah blah. But I think they're really cool. I dig them personally. My personal opinion. I I like them. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other power of the Prime's toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Power of the Prime's playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. 
And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Power of the Primes, Prime Master Liege Maximo. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. I need to hit the gym. I don't think my forearms are big enough yet. Hey there! Ah, Skullgrin! Long time no see. Who's this little fella? Oh, this is just my little cousin. Oh, he's adorable. And look, you even have him dressed like you. That's just so cute. Oh, oh, wait, 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 look, look, look. Yeah! Oh my goodness, that is just adorable. Oh, oh, we need to go to the photo mat. We need pictures. Pictures! Yeah, come on, let's go! Let's go, pictures!